Um, well, actually, we know each other, Marina and me, since I was her student. I was in her class in 1997 in Braunschweig. And uh, then I, of course, uh, she, she is the one who was very, uh, to me, is very important teacher and to help me um, developing performance and, and uh, the, especially the practice of performance art. She's one of the most uh, influencing teachers in my practice, actually. And uh, so she invited me three months or four months ago uh, to, to be part of this uh, uh, event. And uh, of course, I'm very happy. By chance, I, I, I had to be in Istanbul because most of the time now I spend my life in Indonesia, which is far away from here. <laughs> But uh, it was a good uh, coincidence that um, I was in Istanbul until yesterday, and so it's not far uh, to come to uh, Basel. It's very good uh, coincidence. But uh, yeah, Marina and I have, we have been knowing each other since a long time ago, and uh, she, she's been following uh, my work and uh, my processes, and we are still very much uh, in connection. Yeah. My first question actually was uh, more, but normally because we've been working together and I was her assistant at the school and uh, more or less I know how, for what kind of event and how, uh, how big or small or the space and I know this, this space is not unfamiliar for me but, uh, by other. And so um, I asked her how many days and how many people and uh, what for and so on and so forth. And then I, they ask, um, she asked uh, to me to send some proposal and then I, I sent her what could be possibly, possibly done, possibly done here in, for a one day show. So uh, one of the work, of course, this one, uh, I love you because it's very simple. It's long durational and uh, it's six hours duration and uh, it's not very complicated to, to um, how do you say, to, to set up, and, uh, but still very, um, uh, it's one of my important work actually.
have the space will have a, a, a red ambience uh, with a red uh, uh, lighting and uh, um, and uh, a little bit amplified uh, voice um, of mine where I said I love you all the time and uh, but of course with different uh, different intonation different moods and you know after uh, during six hours you know then your emotion is also changing your physical condition is changing and I'm dragging uh, the glass and like in different in different directions and different uh, kind of uh, intention and I never lose the glass so I take care it, uh, carefully take care of it so it should not break but because any time could break and uh, but it's a tempered glass it never happened before that it breaks <laughs> but but yeah it's about uh, taking care this glass seat um, not to be broken it's like when you also take care of yourself about the love uh, you are um, um, you try to keep yeah or you want to have and, and the meaning of love and what it is and w the person you love something you love the life you love is so fragile and uh, and so I think um, this glass is a symbol of this fragility of course uh, but uh, <clears throat> at the same time I'm, uh, I'm more going into the language itself that uh, we we use our language uh, sometimes without um how do you say uh, it's not uh, i love you is not my language we don't culturally we don't express um, uh, our feeling yeah we, uh, culturally i the indonesian don't don't uh, don't say don't express the love feeling they they, they do something and uh, uh, <clears throat> and for me, like to have this sentence, like in Germany is different than in in United States. Like everybody, I love you, I love you, I love you, like that. And then, uh, then you are in a country where you are very careful using this word. And so, the the, the meaning of uh, the language is very important. How it represents, uh, how it represents the. Uh, uh, one's culture and uh, it's not only the, the general uh, kind of uh, uh, perception about, uh, about this sentence yeah? because you are told you have to say I love you to express your love and then people expecting like uh, you know like oh you never said to me I love you or something like that yeah but it's not about this specifically about I love you in these terms but it's more about the language you learn, the language you learn is sometimes um, it's not necessary. Uh, what, uh, um, how do you say? It's not necessarily a capable mean to express uh, an anything from you. So during six hours, then it, this "I love you" becomes uh, it's like a mantra, and I love you, I love you, I love you, I love, you. and then and, and it's. Uh, then it becomes, it's melting. And then I'm not into this expression of I love you anymore, but uh, it's more like yeah, I'm going inside and inside myself.